And these traditions, I think, are taking advantage of the fact that what we really need to survive is ordered energy. That's what we actually consume. Uh, the reason why plants and indirectly animals are useful is because they are a way of taking the coherent energy of the sun and storing it, making it even more coherent, and then we eat that. And so what we're eating is not so much the physical nutrients as the energetic. And this fits in then with this experiment that we did using chocolate. What we did was one group would get the commercial chocolate, which is not, quote, treated by intention. And the other group, blindly, would receive chocolate that had been placed in the vicinity of very long-term Tibetan Buddhist meditators. And the meditators were told to take the intention of um, anyone who would consume this food would feel an increased sense of vitality and energy and improved mood. And at the end we did the analysis and what we found was a significant increase in better mood in the people eating the treated chocolate as compared to the non-treated chocolate. And if you take it to its extreme case, it may be that through intention alone, you're able to extract whatever you need from a surround to maintain your physical condition.